What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the Guys Show. We're back with another video and the day has finally come. We're here at Sour Lake, Texas with my boy Gumby at Texas Speed Lab and Performance picking up the first gen lightning. Finally, after one year, it was a long time. It was a long wait, but it was worth it. Here it is. How's it going? Chilling, man. We're out here. Dude, you sure do miss this truck. And it looks good in videos. It's better person. If you're barely tuning in the On The Gas channel, we've been having this lightning for maybe two years already. We bought this truck back in the valley probably two years ago. Real clean truck. First gen lightning, 95 foot model. I bought it because it was clean, it was white. The one big thing that I like, the lightning, is this bumper in the back. I bought this truck because of the bumper. This is a rear bumper. Our old on the gas business partner, he passed away in 2018. He was a big poor guy and he had a lightning. He had a black lightning like this. His lightning had this bumper. It's kind of hard to get a lightning with this kind of bumper. They usually come with the big square ones. Kind of like that. Our boy Lawrence had a Lightning. He was a big Ford guy. We pretty much bought this truck in tribute to him. He actually had a Ford Lightning first gen. I think it was like a 95, 96. It was black. He actually brought it over here with Gumby. He put a 5.0 Coyote swap with the Pro Charger and all that good stuff. He had actually had bigger wheels. He had 24 by 15s. Pretty much this truck is tribute to him. We wanted to have something that he would drive. This is this. Is this. this is Lawrence Garza all the way. So we're here with Gumby. Like I said, we bought this truck in the valley, decided to bring it to Gumby. My boy Gumby here is a man that does all the peyote swaps, right? We do a few. No, you do a lot. You do a lot. There's a bunch of trucks back there. How many trucks you got? 30 coyote swaps here. 30 right coyote swaps. Ongoing right now. Ongoing, Ongoing right, right now. Ongoing. Some that aren't here, some are getting tuned, some are exhaust you know, you. shop, okay. some get alignment, you know, in different stages yeah, of, yeah, their, yeah, yeah. of their build. But yeah, I have 30 ongoing swaps here right there now. You go. If you're looking to get a badass swap, not a just whatever swap, a badass coyote swap, you need to come over here with my boy. You're at Sour Lake, what's the exact address? 180 South Hand, Sour Lake, Texas, yeah. 77659. You do have to wait a little bit, but it's gonna get done the right way, right? Yep. There's a lot of things to it, it's just not. As you see, even with your, with your big status, it yeah. still takes time. It's I don't get in a hurry on anybody's yeah. build. Your build is just as important as, as anybody as yeah, everybody course, else's. So course. I don't rush my guys. They can take their time. If they want to spend three hours on a little power steering bracket, yeah. they can take it. But it's going to be done the right way. All the electronics, everything, everything is going to work. It looks factory. We did a Coyote swap on this truck. And not only we did a Coyote swap, we put a big, big supercharger. 3.8. The biggest one that we can put. Yep. All right, Gummy, so what we're looking at right here, we're looking at a, a nice polished 3.8 supercharger from Whipple. This is brand new, right? Yes. Brand new, it's the first, yep. first out the market. Yep, this is one of the reasons why it took so long is we had such a long wait we for did, the polished 3.8. We did wait like eight months for it. Yes, I, I, I do did. know that. How much power, not the motor, how much power does this supercharger make? Just the supercharger itself. Like like if it was like, let's just say I a belt motor. I think they're turning it up to 13, 14, 100 horsepower okay. to the tires or so. It actually makes some power. Yeah, Gen 3, F-150, 2018. It's got billet oil pump gears, okay. billet crank sprocket. Uh, other than that, stock motor. Uh -huh. It should be good for 1,000 horsepower. 1,000. It has a midnight performance built. Transmission. 10 or 80, yeah. and Circle D billet converter. Big heat exchanger. One of our first intercooler tanks. Oh. The tank has a diffuser in it. Oh, okay, I see it over there, yeah, yeah. That way, like you have water and stuff like that, it, it circulates the hot water across the whole tank. Whole tank. Like Bellet cap. Adapter. This is the TAC adapter, so okay. we have the factory gauge cluster 
works like stock. It's done the right way. You know, you come over here, you get you a brand new 2018 motor, and the gauges work. Now, remember, this is a 1995 truck. How old is this truck? Yeah. 20, uh, 27 years old. 27 years old? With the new motor, the gauges still work thanks to all this, besides all the electronics and all the other good stuff as well. Volvo electric power steering pump. Okay. So you turn the steering. key on, you have power steering. There you go. Your fill, derail, dual electric fans. There you go. What size of pulley we got? 3.875. Okay. This is your starter pulley. Get in, get used to it. It will do burnouts for days from 60, 70 miles an hour from a roll. Like, no Cause, problem. Because we like to party. Yes. Get used to the truck like this and then turn it up. Because okay. this here should make 650 or so to the tires on 93 octane on without 93. blinking. Okay, let me ask you this. How much does this truck weigh? Are they heavy or are they like 45, 4,600 pounds? Oh, they are easy. heavy. They are mm -hmm. heavy. I thought they were light for no, some reason. No, no, no. no, no, no these are, are heavy. These are heavy, yeah. Okay. And that's with the Coyote. They're a little heavier with the Windsor in it. Oh. Yeah, right. this one, even with the big heavy 3.8, is still lighter than a 351 oh, okay, okay. fully dressed. This truck, it has an exhaust, right? It has long tube headers? Yes. So it has inch and seven eighths. They're 2M, inch and seven eighths, long tubes, full three inch exhaust. We have a three inch magna flow dual in, dual out with a four inch stainless tips. Okay. Coming out like a Gen 2 style. All right. So it's supposed to sound really nice and loud. We're not gonna turn it on yet. We're not gonna turn it on. We're gonna wait a little bit. It still needs a tune. So yes. it starts for a minute. It still smokes. You gotta remember it's got big injectors with stop tuned. It's so not happy. Everything is ready to go. We just need a tune. That's right. And we are going to midnight. So that's it too for that. Show us a little bit of the inside. I seen a little button here, an extra button. Like I yep. said, I'm not gonna turn it on yet. This is the regular shifter, right? Yep. That but controls the 10 or 80. Go down, go into drive. Yeah, it's neutral drive. Okay. It's not, yeah, it's not gonna show on here because okay. it's it's different on transmission. Okay. So, but if you go all the way down. Right now it's on drive because I put it. Right. Okay, and then, first. So now, now you're in manual mode. This you have select shift. Now that we only have a rear tank, we had a hole here that wasn't doing anything. Yes. So now we have select shift. This is your trans shift up, trans shift down. When you're done, like a regular truck, shift it up and drive, you go back to cruise mode. Uh, so you can actually shift it here. Yes. Yourself. You know, like on the new trucks that have the buttons on the shifter. Yes, yes, yes. Or they yes. have the paddle. So being that these trucks don't have that, oh. we have it on the dash. So you can still hold it in gear. All I got your you. stuff, it makes it to where you can have the, the luxuries without taking away from the rest of the truck. Like it, it doesn't it stand doesn't, out. It doesn't, it doesn't. It just looks so, like another button. Right. Okay, so to put it on drive, just regular drive or all the way to first? No, just to drive. Just to drive and it works. Yeah, like and nothing. it works. Just yeah. hit the gas go. and go. Yep. Okay, and this is just extra, like on the new trucks, they come, I think on the shifter or right here. Yep. Now it's just here. Right here. Gotcha. There you go. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Other than that, everything else is stock. Yep. All the gauges work. Coyote drive-by wire pedal. Okay, okay, all right, I see this. You have to change the pedal. Have to change the pedal. You have to change the pedal to another to work because it's an electric. Right. And uh, they usually come, this is uh, what, cable, right? Cable driven, throttle yeah, the body. The factory's the cable, old, the, the, the old new one, one is drive-by wire. Nice. The brake is the same one, right? Yeah, same brake. Okay. Well, we have a nice billet pedal. For those one like the Wheelwood brake system, stuff like that, Wheelwood actually doesn't offer a master cylinder for these trucks uh, because the piston and stuff in it is already big enough to run brakes. Gotcha. So even getting with like little shop manufacturing and a few others, they're like, there's just no need. No need, okay. It works. It works. It works. Yep. The Snell still has stock brakes on it. And it's been 519, 139. So still holding the record. <laughs> for the new viewers, like I said, this guy right here used to drive the snail, which is a green and black first gen. Was it a lightning? It was a lightning. It was originally a lightning. What color was it before? Black. It was a black lightning. My boy here did a two-tone. They called it the snail. They actually sold it. It's in California now. It's so, actually the fastest coyote powered truck for like the last what, almost eight years now. Was it a stock motor or it was built? It's a built motor. Oh, a built motor? Yep. You we, think we can go five ones with the built motor on this one? And I don't know, probably some 580s, maybe 580s? 550s, but I think you can go five. 580s with the built pretty, motor with the no with this i'm motor. talking about a bit motor oh uh, yeah probably. Built motor suspension all that yeah, good shit. probably say at the weight of this five ones five thirties that's fucking sick man i mean that's fucking holly numbers that's yeah that's fast and you have suspension in the back on, on the snail right yeah but it's still leaf springs leaf spring okay leaf springs long bars and a roll bar but the front was just bone stock no adjustable shocks oh, okay. none of that oh. yeah not the fancy stuff. Not the fancy stuff. And it's stuff. all steel. Well, it was eight years ago, so it was a long time ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. And it still holds holds the record. 
Yeah. Damn. Now they beat me in the quarter already. Oh, Manny yeah. making it happen. Oh, okay, like okay. he got the new trucks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Rolling. Of course, but of they, course. They called me an eight. So it's yeah, 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 yeah. It was eight years ago. Eight. So yeah, yeah. you did I, it. I got, I got to poke at you. Yeah. Man. I got to poke at you. <laughs> nah, he's man. coming. He's coming hard. Manuel is a good people. He's funny. Guy. Yeah, we like Manny. All right, guys. So the time has come. We're gonna finally hear for the first time how this 5.0 Coyote 2018 with the 3.8 Whipple Supercharger sounds. Now, remember, it's not too we're gonna go to midnight after this. This truck does have a full exhaust. Long tube headers, muffler, and everything coming out to the side. Turn it up. What is this? What is this thing? I know I've seen them and they're super rare. This is the first time that I actually see one, touch one in person. <laughs> what is this? What year is it? What was special actually, about it? So this is actually a replica car. Okay. This is a driver. Okay. I'm one for drivers. If I had original, I'd be scared shitless. I'd fuck it up. So okay. this is a 65 Shelby Cobra 427. This is American Roadster, so uh -huh. it's a little wider, a little longer. Makes it more fun to drive. 410 Windsor, English EFI. Got a Tremec 5-speed transmission. Makes 584 to the flywheel. So you figure it's probably 560 to, to the, the tire. To the wheels. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a new new motor, aluminum heads. It's a fun, fun car. Fun car. Yep. This is the car that whenever you were trying to get a 10, this is the car you drive right here. Yes. You get a 10. That's why my boys yeah. all red. And if you try to go to the races, like we went to the Spring Nationals, uh -huh. two and a half hours we got stuck in traffic in this thing. Oh, no, and that's, it, no, it, that's no, no, no. Handle it like a champ, but we were burnt. We were burnt. <laughs> My question here is, why doesn't it have a fucking Coyote? You, so, just, you just don't put a Coyote on these or what? Actually, or not yet. this is my tied me over car. Okay. Uh, Everett Morris Motor Cars in Houston. I'm working with them. We're making a Coyote swap chassis oh. or they build cover up car cars. Okay, okay. They're one of the premier builders and I'm working with them. We're gonna so make it's in the works. In the works. I figured, I figured. I mean, it's, it's like a year. All good things. Of course, of course, time. of course. It's gonna get done the right way. So right. that was my question. I was like, why does it have a Coyote? Everything here, if it's old school, new school, whatever, everything has a Coyote. Or maybe on these cars, you just don't put a Coyote. You leave the 427. Well, this is nice. This is nice. A really rare car. It's a nice car. I didn't, I didn't even know you had this car. Sick. What else you got here? You got a bunch of uh, F100s yep. out here. It's got a 64 Crown Vic front. It's got a four link rear. Uh, it's going. a Gen 3 10 R palette. Isn't here yet. Okay. But this one, Crown big front this one has a mustang s550 mustang independent rear both of these do right. suspension the same side to side this one has the, his gen 3 in it already oh okay it's in the works yeah. it's in the works yep yep so he has a red 3.0 whipple oh, on the way once it gets here we're gonna make progress mm -hmm. so this is for marco out of california. california shout out to you buddy we got a bunch of people not only from texas but all over the place california that's a long way that's 24 hours 
Yep, I have three trucks from Cali, one from Washington, Washington. Oklahoma, I have one from Mexico. I want to see the one from Mexico. Is it, is it the red one in there? It is uh, the root beer truck. You're right over here. We have a Gen 2 Coyote. Okay. And we're building a custom twin turbo kit in it. There you go. We'll check it out right now. This was uh, another 66. F1. Yep. No motor. Uh, Gen 3 10R on the way. Okay. This one, Gen 3 10R, Crown Vic front. Oh, okay. So. Mm. We're so waiting this, on brakes. This is how like it this. looks when it's stock, right? Yes. Like the stock metal Yes, this intake. is how you're started. Nice. So pretty much all these trucks are here are getting pretty much the same treatment. The only ones that aren't getting coyotes are the three built Gen 2 Lightnings. Okay. Those two have two, three Whipples, uh -huh. and this one is a single turbo kit. The rest of these, including that one, are all coyotes. The Mustang too. Yes. This is kind of like when you're like in Ford heaven. There's a bunch of Fords here. I've never been around so many Fords. <laughs> Coyote swap on all these. Yep. See, like, uh, this one already runs. Coyote swap on this one. Yes. What? 2020 Coyote. Oh. Nice. Well, our pallets from Mars, 16 miles on this pallet. This is one of those wrecked on a test drive cars. Oh, okay, okay. So pretty so, much a brand new, brand new motor. Brand new motor. Brand new motor. So this yep. is a 2020. 2020 motor. Uh huh. And I, like on yours, I use a factory truck radiator oh, right, makes right. things easy you know i just do hoses yeah, yeah. you can go to the local parts store yeah. you need a radiator pick yeah. it up at o'reilly's i try to make everything as easy as it's possible easy. things that if you need something on a, a sunday you can yeah. get it there you, you don't have to wait for me to open yeah. or yeah. you know if you're out of town or you're you in another stuff. country whatever you can get it so that's more convenient you know so gumby's here thinking about thinking about us it's just not doing it whatever he's actually thinking about it in case we have problems There's it's another. dirty Got another 2020 motor. Everything's Coyote. There you go. Oh. There's Trying to be like y'all. There you go. Is it 3.82? 3.0. 3.0. Yep. Okay, so originally we were putting a 3.0. Yep. And then uh, we heard that 3.8s had came out. And that's when we decided to upgrade and get the bigger one. This was still going to fuck, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, still this going to roll out. Yeah. yeah. Another nice lightning. I actually like the theme on this one. This is a 2017. 2017. Yeah, this is one of the last new Gen 2 motors we were able to get okay so explain here gen 1 gen 2 and gen 3 motors gen 1 2011 to 2014 okay and you have mustang and f-150 in each one of these categories okay those make good power right they're 4 410 or so you know with how they roll out yeah you know, by the time we do our standard cold air everyone gets cold air it's kind of yeah. a thing everyone gets headers and exhaust just naturally aspirated they all start about 400 horsepower okay Gen. And then Gen 2 is 2015, 2017. Two years. Two years. Well, the Gen 3, which is 2018, is 2018 and 2020. Now, you do have the 2021s, and it's technically a Gen 3, but they had some changes. That's so, why there's not a lot of parts for it. Right. Okay. How much power does this make? We don't know, but it should be right there with y'all. With the Gen 3? Yes. Okay. So this ARP head studs. It has the oil pump gears. Okay. It has a power by the hour built 6R80 with all the billet internals, as well as y'all's. It oh. has a... Circle D billet converter. This one should make 900 or so. Should be right there. This one should box with y'all pretty good. So this is a different type of supercharger, VMP. This is a very popular supercharger as yes. well. We just decided to go Whipple just because Whipple's been in the game for longer. Yep. And it's a bigger supercharger than this one, right? Right, so yours, this one will take their stock motor to the end of the motor. Uh -huh. All day. If they want to go up and box with you guys, they're going to need a bigger supercharger. Oh. The Odin kind of falls off at 1100, where yours will be, you know, give me more at 1100. Most people are like, oh yeah, 1000 horsepower. Yeah. That's a lot to deal with. People got to remember that these trucks were 200 horsepower trucks. Back in the day. A stock Gen 1 Coyote makes more power to the tires than a supercharged Gen 1 Lightning motor. Oh. I, I can tell you, I've been there, done that yeah, personal, yeah, yeah. like, of course, of course. The stock Gen 1 will make more power to the tires, and six gears is where you start versus four. It's a big difference, and then y'all have a 10 speed. 10 speed, yeah. That is a game changer on a truck. Of course, and we got the Gen 3 motor with the 10 speed, of course. Yep. This will go fast, really, really fast. This one has a new gauge cluster called One Gauge. It's an LCD screen. Oh. So it's like the Harley almost. Yeah. Oh. Yep. So you have to wire it in, but they sell it. It has a bezel, and it goes in. For all the viewers watching right now, this video, surrounded by Fords, we're in Ford land right now. Comment down below and let me know if I should put one of these wings on the Lightning, I don't know. They look pretty cool. Our boy Gumby here has them. So comment down below, let me know. You can actually bend it a little bit more. Yeah. And, and yeah. Flatten it out. Illuminati makes these for us. Okay. We also make front aluminum pin splitters like the bull nose is gonna get. This truck actually looks pretty cool in general. My favorite one here. I don't know why. I don't know why. 
This is red. Don't forget the bull nose. Don't forget the bull nose. Monster. Monster right here. Monster right there. Another monster over here. Man, you must be hooked up with the Whipple Supercharger. I need a few of them. Okay, no, you do a lot. We've I mean, done six Whipples on swaps. This okay, year. Uh, this year. We're just getting to the middle. Yeah, of course. There's another Mustang over here, really nice Fox body. This one looks a little tight. Is it gonna fit? It'll fit. Early. This like Hydro Boost just came in yesterday, right. so we can make some more progress on this. His harness just got here last week. Mm -hmm. They were on back order. But this car came, it had, this was bare bones roller. So we did full front suspension, rear suspension, full wheel, five lug disc brakes, Hydro Boost. It had zero interior in it, no radiator. We're gonna put the AC parts in, uh -huh. but we don't do AC uh -huh. here. So all we're gonna do is just have it basically ready. Have it ready. ready for them to take the truck. Kind of like what we got to with our that's truck. Right. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's right. There's only three of us, and yeah, as no, you see, no, we have our hands full with everything else. So there's things like tuning, AC, things that we have to skip. We don't have a lineup machine here, so there's things that we can't do in house yet. Working on it. Working on it. Work in progress. So if you're looking after you've seen all this, I mean Mustangs, old Ford trucks, newer trucks, super old school. I mean, if you're looking for a swap to get a swap the right way. You need to come over here, Sour Lake. Hit up my boy Gumby. Schedule your appointment because, like I said, it does. You do have people waiting in line, right? But if you want your shit to get done the right way, this is where you need to come. We waited a year, but overall, I'm happy with the work. I'm happy how it looks. It looks super stock, sleeper from the outside. I mean, you can't even tell it has a coyote. Not unless. Driver. Yeah. I want to be able to get in. I build drivers. Yeah, yeah. Get in it, go where you want, yeah. use it every day, yeah. sell your daily. Yeah, yeah. You know, Seriously. drive your old school. Yeah. My boy Gumby is a big believer in that. It's hot in Texas. It's hot. So we need to get that AC work fixed. For sure. This is hot. We're going to be loading up the truck now and heading down to Midnight Performance because we do need a tune. It just needs a tune, right? Everything else is everything else is ready to go. Just need a tune. Let's get go. a tune, make some numbers, go do some donuts. Yeah. All right for that. Let's go load it up. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that's it for right now here at Gumby's. Pleasure doing business with you, buddy. Thank, Thank you very you, much. Got the truck done the right way. It doesn't get any better than this. Right now, we're gonna head to midnight with Manuel, drop it off over there, get the tune, ready to go. And then hopefully we can hit the track soon. If we go to the track, invite Gumby so he can check it out. See, this is a snail right here. This thing is really nice, bro. Why'd you sell it? Time to do something else. You should, huh? Like I said, if you're looking for a swap, you need to come over here. It's a little far away out from Houston, but I mean, we got people from California, Washington, all over the place. Mexico. 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 You know what I'm saying? All these people are coming over here because it's my boy Gumby does a good job. So you make sure to go follow him. Like I said, if you're looking to do a swap, you need to come over here. Call him up. Do a uh, schedule it because, like I said, my boy does have a lot of work. He's going to get it done the right way. Thank you, buddy. We'll be in touch. Like I said, hey, once, we, once the truck is ready to go, I'll call you up so we can go to the track and see how fast it goes. Sounds good. All right, Gumby. Thank All right, you, Gumby. Gentlemen. Thank you. Hell yeah, well, this fucking weather is fucking crazy. It's hot. I mean, it's hot, bro. I don't know how people do it. It's super hot, and for the first time, the camera actually overheated. It, it, it it's never done that before. Yeah. That's how hot it is. Anyways, I'm really happy because this truck is finally coming home. Well, not going home, but it's finally done. We're picking it up. Like I said, we're going to a midnight right now to drop it off. And like I said, we're like, we're in Sour Lake, Texas right now. So we're about an hour and a half away drive from Houston. I don't even know where Midnight's at. Yeah, midnight's over there, northwest, North, northwest North, Houston. Yeah. So it's really, really far. Yeah, let's head out to Midnight. But we're going to make you wait. So make sure you like, subscribe, hit all the bell notifications. And I'll see you on the next video. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Charlie was popping. Yeah. No! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey! Whip an excursion. Dope boy splurging. Yeah. Too much ice on it, made her nervous. Damn. Flexing on purpose. Damn. Still smoking cushion, still drinking purple. Whip a convertible. Oh. The only thing that the streets respect is money and murder. Yeah. Shooters jumping out in traffic. Yeah. Fuck it, let that nigga have it. <laughs> Trapping in half fashion. Swear. She real pretty, but she nasty. Ooh. Then my trap bitch, but she classy. Uh. In the club smoking blunts back to back, but my diamonds just dancing. Hey. Pull up in a different phone every day, bitch said you too fancy. <laughs> I told her, no, you never seen shit.